everybody welcome back to it's just JJ today I'm going to be filming how I got ready for prom I'm gonna do makeup and my prom was actually a couple days ago I just got ready with my friends I rented a pink limo Jayla and her friends leaving in a limo I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how I got ready. I'm going to do makeup. I curled my hair for prom, but like at the end of the night, like my hair was like literally straight. So I'll probably just straighten it for you guys. I went to like a dry bar, which I've never gone to one before. It was actually kind of scary. And my mom didn't go with me because I guess I'm old enough to do things on my own now. And I went. My curls lasted for maybe an hour. Two or three hours later, my hair was and like it looked like I straightened my hair. My hair was pinned straight. First, I'm gonna start with concealer. And for concealer, I just place it here and here. I've been having this weird disease. <laughs> All right, let me go into more into depth. So I get cold sores, and since I have really sensitive skin, like when I get cold sores, like it genuinely breaks me out really, really bad, and like they'll just spread. I don't know, they'll spread all over my lip. So I had this cold sore, right? Something happened, like my cold sore got infected or I contracted some kind of like, it's so gross. I contracted like some kind of like bacterial thing. I think it was from swimming in the ocean when my cold sore was like an open wound and like I think something got into it. I'm not really 100% sure what happened, but I had this, Bacteria. What was it called? Like a bacterial infection. I had something like that. And then these random sores like just started like popping up. Like I had one on the side of my nose and I try and cover it with makeup. It's, it's, you know, too like textured right now to even look good covered up with makeup. And I got one right here, right here. Um, I'm pretty sure I had one like right over here. And then I started like getting one on my thigh. I had one on my inner thigh. Like it was just literally, it was, they were just like popping up everywhere. And I was like, oh my God, like this is no longer a cold sore. I'm just setting it with some airspun setting powder. I was like, this is no longer a cold sore. And I was hoping that it would clear up before prom so that it wouldn't look super ugly in photos. And it pretty much did clear all up. I mean, it didn't look horrible. It was just like, I felt gross knowing that that was happening to my body. So my mom called the doctor and he put me on really strong antibiotics. I take two pills in the morning and one at night. So I'm also gonna go in with this palette. I don't know, I really love this palette. I've obviously loved it a lot. It's like, I need a new one. It's broken, but every time I try and go into Ulta to like look for it, they just don't have it. And I really wanna, I think you have to order it online, but it's like one of my favorite palettes because like, I use everything in here, the bronzer, the blush, the highlighter, like it's just, I don't have to have like a million little, you know, palettes, I can just use this big one. But my prom was really, really fun. Like I was kind of expecting it to be like, everyone just, you know, standing around in the room doing their own thing, but everyone was dancing. All my favorite teachers went, my art teacher, my reading teacher, like I saw all my favorite teachers there. I'm just gonna use some blush, some cream blush. And I know you're not supposed to use cream blush on powder after you put like powder on. And I always forget to put this on before I put on my powder, but like it genuinely blends out fine. Like it doesn't look bad, so I just keep doing it. <laughs> I'm just like, whatever. But yeah, my makeup ended up looking really good. I really liked it for prom and it lasted like how it was supposed to, you know? I didn't do like a full face of makeup. Like some girls, they went and they got all their makeup done. At the dry bar, they had makeup artists there and I guess they like got their hair done and then they um, went and got their makeup done. But I was just like, I'm just gonna do my own makeup because I feel like if someone else were to do my makeup, I would just hate the way I looked and then prom would be in an hour and then I'd be crying panicking. Now I'm just using the highlighter in this palette. I just, hold on, let me hold this. I just mix this one and this one. I obviously love this one a lot because I hit pan. A lot of girls did like this like half up. They like pinned half of their hair back, like a half up, half down. And it looked really cute, but I was like, I know that that is just gonna bug me all night. I have this habit of like needing to like run my fingers through my hair. 
Makes my hair super greasy, but I like to do it. So now I'm going with this um, Man Eater Tarte Palette. And I just used like this light, this like, it's kind of a light brown, it's right there. And I tapped off my brush. And this is unnormal for my makeup routine. So this was like my extra makeup. It's barely anything. But I just took this and I didn't put it on my waterline. I put it underneath my eye and I created a wing going out with it. Do that for both sides real quick. I just put it like right underneath my waterline and I created like a little wing. And I feel like this color makes my eyes look really pretty. I don't know if I'm, I'm tripping or what. And then I kind of dust the brush off on my, my desk that has so much paint on it from me painting. And then I just go in and I just blend that wing that I took out into my crease. And I only go like on the outer edges of my eyes. I don't bring it in. I might bring it in a little to blend it, but like when I'm applying it, I don't bring it in or anything. And I just keep blending till it kind of looks less patchy, you know? And it looks all nice and blended out. And then I go back in with my Benefit palette and I go in with this really, really sparkly color, the one I hit pan on. And I go put some glitter on my brow bone, glitter in my inner corner, brow bone, inner corner. Yeah, but my prom, 10 out of 10 experience. Just going in with a different brush and I'm just blending out all that stuff I put on my inner corners. But yeah, my prom was super fun. I had a cool date. Oh, I forgot to tell you the best part. I rented a pink limo. And at first for this pink limo, I only had like five friends that were coming. Cause that was just like, you know, all I could get at the moment. And then like when it started getting closer and closer to the actual day of prom, like more and more people were coming. So it ended up being, I think nine people came and the limo held 10. Everyone chipped in for money, which was really, really sweet of them. And yeah, it was just super fun. So then like no one had to worry about rides or parking. Our limo driver, his name was Mike. It was so, he was so nice and he was such a good driver. He was like not getting annoyed with us at all, which I was expecting him to, but he was just a really good limo driver. No one had to worry about rides or you know, where to park, gas, anything like that. So it was super nice. I'm pretty much done with my base. I'm just gonna curl my lashes with just a normal eyelash curler. And when I curl them, I go like this, flip it. And then you wanna curl every section. Don't press down too hard because I used to like literally like press down so hard that I cut off all of my eyelashes last year. I'm just not having a good lash day because I wore mascara this week two days in a row, so my lashes are just like done. They're just so sick of it. I completely forgot what I was just gonna say. Oh yeah, I cut off my eyelashes and it was so depressing. I just couldn't wear makeup without me just looking weird and ugly because whenever I would put on mascara, like it was very noticeable because it was a huge gap in my eyelashes and I just felt so ugly. Like, it definitely didn't look as bad as I remember, but I just felt so ugly and horrible. I remember, I saw this video. I just got mascara on my shirt. I saw this video on TikTok that was like, oh, if you if you heat up your eyelash curler and you, you curl your lashes, it'll magically be curly. So guess who did that? The girl on your on your phone right now. She did that. She curled her eyelashes with a heated eyelash curler. Went super hard, like <laughs> pumped that thing on there, and they all fell off. They all just disintegrated off. I get my bottom lashes too. I know some girls don't like to get their bottom eyelashes, but I feel like I look super funny without it. Yeah. So for prom makeup was just super light. That's my story of how I cut off all my eyelashes. All right, so I'm gonna finish my makeup. I'm just gonna do the same mascara. It's the Essence mascara, it's the green one. All of the labeling has rubbed off. I need to get a new one, but. Makeup is done. That's what I did for makeup. And then I just wore, I think, Carmex or this Dior lip oil. I actually have a funny story about this oil. My mom got this 
for me for Christmas last year. And she had got it as like a stocking stuffer, not really knowing what it was. And then like next month, like everyone was buying it. It, it was sold out everywhere. So I'm just flexing basically that I got the Dior lip oil before everyone. Okay, time to let this hair down. Ooh, ooh. Okay, everybody, now it is time to put on my dress. Here's the dress. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it because I've posted in it, but it's just a really cute, plain, um, hold on, let me get a better shot for you guys. And baby, dress. what? Ooh, <laughs> the back? Yeah, looks and great. that's how I got ready for prom. It was really weird getting ready for prom, but no prom. Did you tell about the you. prom story? What prom story? I don't know, you didn't have one? Yeah, I told them all my prom stories. Oh, good, okay, just making sure. I told them about my disease. <laughs> I told them about the pink limo. Your feet, your poor feet. Like my, oh, that. I didn't tell them about that. Dang so it. on the dance floor, everyone was wearing dress shoes and I wasn't, and my, <laughs> my foot is like, they're it's all bruised, bruised up. all over. <laughs> I think it might be halfway broken, I don't know. <laughs> I'm also just being dramatic. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh. Bye.